We all want to lose fat, but sometimes we don't really want to count the calories. I'm back at you with a highly requested video today. I'm going to be diving into my top five simple strategies to help you lose fat without counting your calories. And if you don't know me, I'm Elizabeth with Elizabeth Ayler Fitness. I have my four year degree kinesiology, CSCF, and I'm a holistic nutritionist. And I had my own fat loss journey too. I lost over 50 pounds in nine months, maintaining my muscle, and I've been able to sustain this, and I'm continuing to do so. So if you're looking for more tips, make sure to subscribe and head over on Instagram and TikTok. I am there daily sharing everything on a holistic view of health, wellness, and just overall gut health and longevity. Let's just dive into it. Here are my top five strategies to help you lose fat without tracking our calories. So fat loss, it's a journey and it can sometimes be a little overwhelming. So today I want to simplify it for you, steer you clear of the calorie counting if it's too much and just focus on strategies that are easy, effective and help you reach your goals in terms of fat loss. To support the goal of fat loss, you must learn to make food and lifestyle choices that help support a caloric deficit. Although calories and counting calories works for some people, it's not always for everyone. And there are plenty of other strategies and habits that we can implement to help you lose fat without counting the calories or even tracking those macros. Simply by focusing on whole foods, consuming enough protein, increasing our fruits, our vegetables, and activity and movement, and prioritizing our sleep, mindful eating, we can work on building habits to support a goal on weight loss without tracking a thing. And I know you're thinking, Elizabeth, that just sounds so overwhelming already, but I am gonna break it down into just simple tools right now for you that you could start implementing today. My first strategy to help you lose fat without tracking your calories is going to be building our meals around protein. Protein, it's the cornerstone of a healthy diet and it helps you to stay full, fuel your body and your muscles throughout the day. Day. Let's dive a little bit deeper into this. Compared to carbohydrates and fats, protein is the most satisfying micronutrient. Consumption of protein has been shown to increase our satiety and reduce our hunger levels, support our metabolism, and promote fat loss. When we consume protein, protein actually has a 20% thermogenic effect on food, meaning you are burning 20% of those calories to help break it down. By consuming 20 to 30 grams of protein at each meal, this is an easy way to help with our hunger and satiety hormones, leptin and ghrelin. So basically, when we're on fat loss, the deeper we're into fat loss, you may realize you're getting more hungry. You're having more cravings. By having enough protein at those meals, it helps to regulate our leptin and ghrelin so that you feel full at the meal, you feel satisfied, it helps with cravings, and you even feel like your blood sugar is balanced throughout the day. If you're supporting our cravings, our hormones, and maintaining that muscle on a deficit, all of that is gonna help with fat loss. To increase our protein at our meals, you can choose lean sources of protein such as chicken, turkey, fish, and legumes, and rotate between different sources to help keep things interesting. I always keep a bunch of frozen different types of protein sources from salmon to halibut to bison, and I make little protein balls and put them in the fridge so that I can just throw them in my air fryer, cook them up, rotate throughout the week to get different amino acids and micronutrients into my diet. My second step would be make protein the star at every meal. So you could think of things like egg omelets for breakfast, or I absolutely love doing my breakfast smoothie. I put my collagen, everything in there, and I will link all of that in the show notes for you, my full recipe. You could even do grilled chicken salads for lunch or bean stews for dinner or cook with some lentils if you are on that plant-based side. The third step is don't forget about snacks. 
opt for protein rich snacks. You can add Greek yogurt parfaits to your diet or grab a handful of nuts with a little bit of fruit, that protein and carbohydrate to keep those hunger pains at bay. My second strategy to help you lose fat without tracking our calories is going to be being accurate with our portion sizes. Sometimes it's not about what we're eating, but how much of that we are eating. Let's dive into how to find that perfect balance. Although food quality is a beneficial tool in weight loss, food quality still matters. When it comes to losing fat, it is important that we are creating that caloric deficit so that we're able to still reach our goals without counting calories. So we have to be mindful of how much we are eating because if we go over and we're getting too much, even if it's from things like salads, avocados, smoothies, we'll still be nourishing our body with all the micronutrients. But if we're not in that deficit, it's not going to keep you on your goal to losing that fat. If you don't want to count your calories or weigh out your food, we can use this simple tool that I'm going to be sharing with you to help as a way of measuring food, but keeping it simple at the same time. My favorite tool to measure my food is actually gonna be my hands. And your hands are a great way to kind of estimate your portion sizes. When it comes to creating your meals, I like to, when I'm looking at my plate, I'll do at least a palm full of my hand with protein. A, if I cut my hand, this is gonna be what my carbohydrates are. And then I like to use my fist for my vegetables and one whole thumb for my healthy fats. So at that meal, we're able to measure our carb, fat, protein to stabilize our blood sugar levels. This is just a simple and convenient way because your hand's always on you that you can measure out protein, carbs, and fats so that you create that balanced meal even if you're traveling or on the go. My third tip to help you lose fat without tracking our calories is gonna be coming through our NEAT. This is our non exercise activity thermogenesis. Although workouts and exercise are commonly discussed when it comes to fat loss and you know energy expenditure, general movement, our fidgeting, our activity throughout the day, just stepping, walking further in the parking lot, these are actually a larger contributing factor to our total daily energy expenditure, meaning we're burning more calories through it. When we are on a caloric deficit, you may not realize this, but you may be keeping things at your table. You may not be moving as much because your body is trying to conserve less calories if we're not getting good sleep, we're on a lower calorie diet, our stress is higher, we try to conserve. And a little fun fact, your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate, it actually accounts for 70% of the total calories that you burn in a day. So if we're on fat loss, if we're not moving a lot, we're sitting at the desk all day, then we may not be burning as many calories and you're working harder, not smarter for our body. A few examples of NEAT would be walking, doing your dishes, cleaning the house, doing your yard work, even movement with your arms. I like to talk a lot with my hands. And this accounts for 15% of our total daily energy expenditure. Going to the gym is really good for us and we wanna strength train, we wanna move our body. It's also important that we don't just sit at the desk all day and not move our body. When I was growing up, I loved rock climbing. It got me out of my mind, it strengthened my body and it got me to move versus just sitting there on the TV watching it all weekend. Now hold on a second. Before we dive deeper into my top two tips, I saved the best for last, I have something super exciting for all of you amazing viewers out there. If you thought of transforming your life, building muscle, losing fat, and rejuvenating your gut health all while eating more food, then my 90 day transformation program is your golden ticket. I have helped over 800 women in the last few years experience life-changing results and I have taken everything that I have learned over the last nine years on my journey and I put it together into a 90-day transformation that's not just about the physical. It's not just about calories in versus calories out. It's about our mindset, our gut, our hormones and creating this whole lifestyle from the inside out. 
I customized everything to my clients that were able to build our metabolism, lose fat, build muscle, get rid of bloating, and my specialty is helping women over 40 going through menopause, perimenopause, hysterectomy, anyone with gut issues going on, and even individuals that have been on very low calorie diets for a long time that are stuck at that plateau, and they, they just, they're not seeing results. We build their metabolism, we transform their body, and we focus on the mindset. So if you're looking to transform your body in the next 90 days, I want you to head down into the show notes or DM me ready on Instagram. We will set up a call to see if we're that perfect fit for you to come join my 90 day transformation challenge. I am so excited. Let's make those gains together. I'm back at you with a fourth tip and we're going to step back a little bit on our list and we're going to talk about this crucial tip and it is staying well hydrated. Hydration is often underlooked when it comes to fat loss. I like to aim for at least half my body weight in ounces of water a day and then I adjust. And if you're doing a lot of cardio, you're in a hot climate, you may need a little bit more as opposed to someone that's maybe not sweating as much and more sedentary, they may, that two, three liters may be that perfect. But we're talking fat loss, so I'm assuming you guys are moving, we're sweating, so we're gonna say, Aim for half your body weight in ounces a day and then adjust from there. Not just about drinking water. If you're training hard, you're sweating, you can get depleted in your sodium, potassium, magnesium. And the thing is, is a lot of these electrolyte powders out there, they have all these added ingredients and things that just aggravate your gut and just fillers. I like to do, I'm gonna link in the show notes, my favorite electrolyte that I use. I do one to two of these every single day. And if you wanna try them out, you can get a free eight sample pack with purchase in the little show notes below. And I'll put my code here. For so long, I was just drinking plain water. I never felt like I was truly I would say satisfied after I had my water. I always felt like I had an intense thirst still. I would get headaches, I would feel low energy. And the first time I added in this packet, and I've tried other electrolytes before guys, but the first time I tried it, I felt like the Energizer Bunny. And it's the only one that hasn't aggravated my gut. If you guys feel like you're drinking so much water, you're not truly hydrated, I have a lot of my clients, basically all of them do this, and they're like, Elizabeth, I've never felt more energized, more hydrated, it's showing in my performance in the gym, and I just overall feel more like the brain fog, everything going down. Our final tip for today, and the best tip, I would say is going to be focusing on sleep and stress management. A well-rested body and a calm mind can truly be your secret weapon in your fat loss journey. And here's some easy ways to increase those areas. And I do wanna add in before I go into the tips with you, if we're not sleeping, when you sleep, that's when you're making your human growth hormone to build muscle. If you're not sleeping, your cortisol levels are gonna be elevated. You may feel like you're storing fat, you're retaining water. You may not be recovering because you're not getting the sleep in, and your workouts are gonna suffer and you're not gonna feel strong in the gym. And stress is a huge one too. If you're in that chronic state of stress all the time, and then on top of that, you're on a caloric deficit, your body is not gonna be like, okay, we're primed for fat loss. It's gonna be like, what is going on? I need to fight that stressor. So here are some simple tips to help with stress management and sleep. My first step is gonna be create a calming bedtime routine, and this is gonna help enhance the quality of your sleep. I love doing my magnesium. I do a magnesium blend. I don't just do a citrate, guys. Those are more laxative forming. I'll put the one that I used in the show notes below, but I do this 30 minutes before bed. It helps calm my mind. It helps me have the best bowel movement the next day too, and it really, really does help me fall asleep and stay asleep. My next tip is gonna be more around the stress management. So I'm, I'm Virgo. I have that type of personality that sometimes stress can be my kryptonite. And I tell this to all my clients. So when I have a stressor, something that I like to do is I like to game plan. I'm a big game planner. So I'm like, Elizabeth, what is the worst case scenario? And I write it all out. What is the best case scenario? And it brings me to a state, because I game plan both of them, and I realize that the stressor isn't always in our control, guys. 
So stressing about it is just bringing our energy down. What we can do is really focus on what are we in control of? So I always game plan it as well as I always incorporate now at least five to 10 minutes of a guided meditation in the morning. And I really love the Insight Timer app. There's a guy named David, D-A-V-I-D, J-I, one word. He's absolutely incredible. I love his morning guided meditation. And you don't need to pay for the app. There's thousands of meditations in that app absolutely for free. It's not like you get in one and then they give you like two things and they want your money for it. So I really, really love that app, Insight Timer, if you're looking for a great one to calm your mind and body. <laughs> that brings us to the end for today, but it's just the beginning of your transformation journey. So if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, share it with a friend. You can leave a review on Spotify or Apple. It would truly mean the world for me. And don't forget to drop down below a topic you would like for me to tackle next. And if you are needing help, looking to transform your body in the next 90 days, head into those show notes, fill out my questionnaire, and I will be in touch with you in the next 24 hours to set up your transformation. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.